So today I'm going to go over some uh, crash statistics here in Ohio. Uh, it's something I've never actually looked up and just happened to be a little curious about it. So went to the uh, Ohio State Highway Patrol's website and they have all the crash statistics. You, know, you can search by certain dates, uh, search by county, and um, you, know, you could look at alcohol related crashes. Uh, running stop signs or stop lights, uh, how many crashes uh, result from that, uh, adult crashes, teen crashes. Um, so I'm just gonna go over some some total crash numbers. That sort of surprised me a little bit. There are more crashes than I actually thought. Uh, just, and this is calendar year 2020. I know COVID had an effect, um, but in 2020 there were over 241 total crashes in the state of Ohio. Um, with injuries suspected in over 25,000 of those. So just uh, think about how many potential injury claims there are out there that these insurance companies are dealing with. Uh, it's a pretty substantial number. Uh, and with COVID in mind, I thought I'd just do a quick look into 2019 as well. In 2019, there were about 295,000 total crashes in the state of Ohio. Uh, so I'm guessing COVID had an impact on that in the total reduction in calendar year 2020. And a lot of these crashes seem to be failure to yield, failure to stop at a stop sign or a stoplight, which would lead me to think that there's a lot of distracted driving going on out there, just uh, people not paying attention. Uh, you had a pretty good amount of alcohol and uh, impaired driving related crashes as well. Over 12,000 impaired driving crashes with about a little under 10,000 of those being alcohol related um, so drunk driving obviously is still a prevalent issue nowadays in spite of the increased penalties and uh, risk and threat of some substantial jail time i also took a look at uh, just some local counties just to see what those crash numbers were uh, medina cuyahoga and uh, summit county uh, as you can probably guess uh, cuyahoga had more than uh, Medina and Summit, uh, Cuyahoga, you got a total of 27,000 crashes, whereas Medina County, there's only 2,700 crashes, um, which makes sense. Obviously, Cuyahoga County with Cleveland is uh, more populated, and you would expect quite a bit more crashes. Same with uh, Summit County, about 12, 000, a little over 12,000 crashes in Summit County, so obviously, you get Akron, uh, you're going to be a little more populated than Medina County, not quite as populated as Cuyahoga County. And what did surprise me though, uh, the when looking at crashes per month, uh, between all the counties and in the state, the uh, most crashes actually occurred in October. I'm not sure why. The least amount of crashes, again, for all three counties I pointed out and the state of Ohio uh, came in April. Uh, again, I guess that can be uh, COVID related you know, about that time shutdowns starting less people on the road um, but I expected uh, the vast majority of the crashes to be uh, December January winter months when you have uh, ice on the road uh, so I, I did find that interesting uh, crashes by day most crashes seem to happen on Friday I don't know if it's just people rushing to get home from work uh, that be my guess um, most crashes that seem to occur during the afternoon rush hour, which again, I think would make sense. Looking at totals again through the state uh, of note, there were a little over 1,100 fatal crashes. Uh, when it comes to Medina, there were 12 fatal crashes uh, through calendar year 2020. Uh, Cuyahoga County, just over 100 fatal crashes, and then Summit County, 44 fatal crashes. Um, so. It's a pretty, uh, pretty significant number. I didn't expect that many. Um, it, it's dangerous out there on the road. There's a lot of crashes, a lot of injuries. Uh, if you've ever been injured in an accident recently, uh, think you have a claim, give us a call.